Here's another question, just like a previous one, where we can plug in, because again, we see variables in the answer choices. So I'll show you how to plug in on this one, but there's actually a much quicker way to do it, which is to do this one algebraically, to do it with the abstract algebra rather than just plugging in. And the key with plugging in versus doing the algebra is just knowing and being comfortable with dealing with both methods, because sometimes plugging in is easier, sometimes doing the algebra is easier, sometimes they're both equally as difficult, but the more comfortable you are with both methods, the more flexible you'll be whatever question you're given. So first we'll plug in, we've got variables in the answer choices, so let's plug in an S and a T. Let's plug in numbers that are relatively easy, like five and two or something, and or six and two. And let's see what we get here and see which choice matches. So let's do six and two. So S is six, T is two. So this will be six minus two times six divided by two. So that's four times three, which is 12. So our answer is 12. Now we go to the choices and we see which one equals 12. So let's see A. Six divided by two minus six. Well, that's three minus six. That doesn't equal 12. How about this one? Six divided by two minus six times two. So three minus 12 doesn't work. How about C? S squared, which would be 36 divided by two minus S, so minus six. And this would be 18 minus six, which is 12. So that looks pretty good. Let's just check D. So 36 divided by two minus six divided by two squared, which is four. So we get something that doesn't equal 12. So we'll get rid of D and we go with choice C. So not too bad with plugging in. But how could you do it algebraically? You can do this algebraically by realizing that this is really just testing the distributive property. So I'm multiplying S minus T times S over T. So I can just distribute this to both of these terms. So it's really gonna be S times S over T minus T times S over T. We'll do a little canceling. So this just combines to become S squared over T. Here, the t's cancel, so we're just left with s, and so we get s squared over t minus s, and that is, again, choice d. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll, and you can find the link in the description below the video.